Hey everybody, JRS PC here, another box break video, and today I'm bringing you some vintage, uh, vintage mystery boxes. Uh, this is, I was going through some stuff uh, in one of my storage units I've been cleaning out and finding stuff I haven't touched in years, um, and this is a good example of stuff I haven't touched in years. This was made by the Fairfield Company, and this one, uh, after doing some research, came out in about, I think like 2008. 2008, 7, 8, I don't know, something like that. Um, somewhere's around 7 or 8 or 9, um, I think. But uh, anyways, uh, actually, I think that's a 2011 card, though. Maybe it's a little bit later. Yeah, maybe it came out in 2011. I guess I should have just looked at the cards on there, but... Okay, so my research is not very good. But it's a baseball super value box by the Fairfield Company. It's got four packs plus 100 cards in each box. So, I would do this often where I would buy something and put it away and open it at a later date. And then in a lot of cases, things get pushed into storage and I forget about them. So, we're going to open this box up right now and see if it's any good. This probably cost $10 back then, I would imagine. They weren't ever very much money until recent years uh, when they kind of went up in price quite a bit. But let's see if these are here. Or I'm pretty sure they're like 10 bucks. What does it say here? It says this box is guaranteed to contain 100 baseball cards, including stars, rookies, plus four sealed packs. Product is in, pa in this package have been purchased directly from the manufacturer or purchased from the secondary market and repackaged for retail by the Fairfield Company. Images featured may not be included in the box. Okay, so with that being said, oh, right there, look at that. I got a cello pack right on top. <laughs> All right, we'll see if we're even going to open those. And then we got a box inside a box. And that's it. Okay. So let's take a quick peek here and see what the heck. All right, let's look at our packs first. All right off the bat, we got a jumbo pack of, I'm guessing 89. Yeah, 89. Got a nice piece of gum in there. And yeah, it, oh, hey, look at that. It's a Tom Glavin rookie on the back. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah, Tom Glavin rookie. So I'm probably gonna keep this one sealed because that's a that's a pack collector type pack right there. And you guys don't really I don't think care too much if I open this up. The best card you can pull out of here is gonna be a Randy Johnson rookie. And then oh I'm sorry. That Tom Glavin's not a rookie. That's not a rookie. It's a second year. So we will open this and see if we get a Randy Johnson rookie. <laughs> then we got 2008 Upper Deck First Edition. With the legendary, uh, sorry, the Yankee Legacy inserts in there. 2007 uh, Flair Ultra Baseball. Not bricked up. 2008 First Edition up, Update Upper Deck. Not bricked up. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what's in here. Alrighty. A hundred cards, it looks like. And it looks like we got some of those old mini league leader cards or whatever they are. Alright, that's it. Okay, let's take a quick peek here, guys. See how good or bad these are. Well, right off, right off the bat, got a nice Kirby Puckett, 88. Ozzy Kinseko, the twin brother of Jose, Ken Patterson, Hanky, Charlie O'Brien. Kind of go through these kind of fast because it'll be nice. Paul Griffey Jr. rookie, John McNamara, Mike Devereaux. Hey, it is nice Jose Kinseko. I'm gonna do an autograph signing with him, so I've been pulling his cards out. John Dobson, Jim Gott, Mike Belecki, Tim Belcher, Ron Darling. Eric Fox, Tim Costo, I'm going to go fast, and 81, Don Russ, Greg Pryor, Ross Jones, Rick Cerrone, uh, signs through mail for anybody who cares, might pull that out and get that one signed, Brady Anderson, usually only signs one card, Bob McClure, Mario Soto, Chris Spire, alrighty, what else we got here, another Jose to get signed, right there, these are 1990, yeah, no, 1988, um, I forget what they called them. Just I think they're just baseball stars or something like that. But that's pretty cool. Nice and it's good condition. Dave Parker, Andre Dawson, Gary Carter, a couple of Hall of Famers. Nice Don Mattingly, Robin Yount, another Don Mattingly, Ozzy Smith, Mike Witt was a great pitcher for a little while. John Cruck, Gary Reedus, Jeff Reardon, some newer cards here. Gary Matthews, that's an 07. JD Drew. Old knuckleballer Charlie Huff, great signer through the mail. Probably pull that and get that signed. Oh, that's a really creased. Calvin. Is that crease on top there? 
Oh, well. Jack Clark. Charge, signs for the mail, but charges. Sandy Elmar Jr. at Top and C. Sean Estes. Nice. John Crock again. Another Jeff Reardon. I sent to him. He uh, sent me back um, a little note saying $5 per card. Um, actually, I think he wrote back $5, please. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to... I'm gonna go ahead and send it back, send them the five bucks, and get them to sign one of the cards. Uh, Jason Isringhausen, Andres the Big Cat Galarraga, Ben Sheets, Tory Hunter on the Hall of Fame ballot this year. Uh, Steve Trout, no relation to Mike Ryan Garko, another Kirby. Robin Yount, John Wetland, the sex offender. I'm um, just going by uh, what he was charged with. Ken Griffey Senior, Dante Bichette, Bo's Daddy. That's his rookie. That's pretty good. Bobby Bonilla. I'll pull that out later. Scott Scudder. Joe Carter. Uh, MVP hero of the 1993 World Series. Steve Garvey. He signed through the mail. He signed for me. Kent Merker. Mike Cameron. Not a great signer through the mail right there. Jason Kendall. Horrible signer. Hate signing. Travis Lee. A couple 84 tops cards here. Doug DeCensis. He signed through the mail. I'll pull that one out. Malito Perez. Bruce Hurst. Tony Perez. Perez. I think he just passed away, unfortunately. Lance McCuller, Kevin Maz, a phenom that wasn't Onyx. Bryn Smith, he signs really good through the mail. Pull that out. Alvin Davis, John Mabry, hey, that's a good one. Fred McGriff, early Fred McGriff and George Bell, uh, back when he was on the uh, Blue Jays. Davey Johnson, he signs through the mail. He only signs one, though, but that's okay. Dick Williams, Hall of Famer. Bruce Sutter, Hall of Famer. Uh, that's Greg Swindell. Frank Tanana, he signs really good through the mail. Pull that out. Uh, that's an awesome Fernando. He signed for me a long time ago through the mail when I first started doing TTMs. Had a few cards for me. And Jimmy Key, another great signer through the mail. So that's those. Uh, that took a whole a few minutes to do. Sorry about that, guys. But I figured you wanted to see what kind of crap was in these things. All right, let's get into this right here. 2008 first edition update. I don't know. I can't remember who's good in this. Okay, A.J. Przinski, great ball player. He's on the Hall of Fame ballot this year. Uh, Rafael Fercal had a great few years. Uh, Matt Holiday, not a great ball player for a little while. Julio Lugo, Aaron Rowan, he had a few good years. Chris Duncan, um, Hiroki Kuroda, Matt Caps, who was good for a minute. Hey, there's our Yankee legacy of Red Rolf. And a StarQuest Joe Maurer. That's the green version. Pretty cool. Man, I like opening old packs. It's fun. Next up, we got Flare Ultra 2007. All right, who is it? Oh, Willie Tavares. He was pretty good for a minute. He was on the uh, Astros World Series team. Uh, Andre Ethier, he was good for a minute, too. Matt Morris, not a good pitcher. We'll see with the Cardinals. Richie Sexton, really good slugging. Uh, big slugging first base. I think he's like 6'8". And then a nice Kyle Ripken Jr. Iron Man insert. Very nice. Got some quarter cards in there to throw in the old quarter box. Okay. And try to keep this pack in decent shape because I like to take these packs and and uh, put them back together. And the, G the Jeter cover ones, you know. The PC Jeter. So I usually, like, I'll sleep. I'll put them back together real nice like this. And I'll put them in the top loader or something and just put them with my other Jeter stuff. But So that's pretty cool. Alrighty. Let's see here. JJ Hardy. He was a good ball player when he first came in the league. Chad Bradford, Kyle Davis, Davies, sorry, David Ross, putting a tag on some slow pirate, uh, Jock Jones, Tim Hudson, he's on the Hall of Fame ballot this year, he was a good pitcher for a little while, I don't think he's going to get in though, Derek Barton, rookie card, Bill Murphy, Jim Edmonds, one of the best center fielders I've ever seen play, and our star quest is going to be a big poppy, and it's another green, pretty cool. That's worth a buck. If I get that one, I might get it graded actually. Uh, I like getting those kinds of cards graded. But I probably won't get it graded actually. I, I kind of quit <laughs> getting that stuff graded. Um, PSA is going to come back down with their prices though. So that's the good news. Uh, they just said that it's going to probably take about a year or so. I'm gonna open this this way. There we go. Hey, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I, I appreciate it if you do. Hey, there's some nice looking old gum. Um, see, we're up to, we're almost at 1,200 subscribers, so I could use a little bit of support if you guys don't mind. 
Richard Dotsons. Yeah, so we're looking for Gary Sheffield, which I think we got right there. Um, and uh, John Schmoltz, Hall of Fame rookie, Randy Johnson. I think that's about it for the for the better ones. And boom, Gary Sheffield, yay! That's a nice pack fresh Gary Sheffield I've had for, oh, probably 10 years apparently now. <laughs> Pretty cool, nice. Very nice. Uh, Ken Oberkfell, Dwayne Bruce. I can't complain when you get one of the rookies. Oh yeah, Gary's on the Hall of Fame ballot this year. Uh, he should get some love. I don't know. I always thought he was great, but we'll see what happens. Rick Honeycutt, Kevin Elster, Bill Long. Loved Kevin Elster back in the day. Brady Anderson, good ball player. Miraculously somehow hit 51 home runs one year. 1997, I believe. That's a nice Bo Jackson leader card. That would look so sick signed. I love Bo. Randy Kramer. Kanye. Uh, that's a double right there. <laughs> Danny Jackson doing some stretching. Rick Aguilera. Chris Brown. Floyd Bannister. Bill Pakoda. Russ Nixon. Before the Bobby Cox um, era. Randy St. Clair. He's from um, up by me. Glens Falls, New York. Yeah, he's not too far from where I'm from. Uh, Les Straker, Walt Weiss, Tracy Jones, Charlie O'Brien. He caught for the Mets for a minute. Jim Leland, good manager. Tom Foley, Dave Magadan, he was a good sign through the mail for a while. Uh, Tony Gwynn, Mr. Padre. Pack fresh Tony Gwynn. Looks like a real nice clean card. Throw it over there. Rick Sutcliffe, Carney Lansford, he was a good third baseman for a while. Had a really unique batting stance. Jesse Barfield, Todd Benzinger. Look up the video where he... Uh, <laughs> Playing first base, balls hit the Paul O'Neill. Paul O'Neill um, was juggling it, bobbling it, and he ends up kicking the ball to, to Todd Benzinger. And Benzinger didn't know that he kicked it. And uh, after they come back in the dugout, he's like, "Man, if you would have put a little more on it, Paul." He goes, "I, I think we could have got him." And he's like, "I kicked the ball, Benzie. I kicked the ball." Anyways, pretty funny when he, he the way he describes it. So you guys should look that up. Paul O'Neill kicks the ball. Ozzy Virgil, he actually um, prevented a runner from uh, advancing. So that's the funny thing about it is his, his kick prevented a runner from advancing. Tom Herr, former Met. And there's that Glavin, second year Glavin. So not too shabby. Well, for 10 bucks, you know, I think those were 10 bucks. That would have been a lot of fun to open back in the day. And it would have been a lot. <laughs> I'd buy more of them and open more of them. So, all right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you like my channel if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'm always here to help any young or new or amateur dealers collectors whatever i've been dealing for 25 years and stay tuned for an awesome video where i'm going to explain to you how to be a successful car dealer all right you guys have a great rest of the day later